little magic. Now I know how it works in the book. So we're going to be talking about <laughs> these books. Uh, the show them all. This is the booktube couple. Just oh, in yeah. case you didn't recognize our faces. I'm Evie. I'm Ronnie. And we're going to be talking about to read or not to read this series. So we have the Fallen Kingdom. This is actually the first book here. Fallen Kingdoms series. Yes. Um, so we started this about a year ago. But we read this book and had you know we we really enjoyed it and we wanted to read the other ones, but there were a bunch of other stuff on our TBR that we had to read. And you know sometimes when you're starting a series, you're like, this is such a gigantic series. I don't know if I want to invest my time, which is part of the reason we've been trying to do the to read or not to read videos for really large series to let you know if you should start them or not. Now, we want to tell you certain things that will let you decide if it's the right book for you. So, this book is a series that's kind of been compared to Game of Thrones by others. Um, there are a lot of different characters that you follow, and a lot of people die. So, and... if, for instance, you like to have lots of characters because it keeps you more interested, this book would be for you because there are... every chapter opens with a new character and a new location, and maybe like four characters are revisited throughout, but then there's sometimes, especially as you get farther into the books, there's other characters that you haven't seen before that you're suddenly in their point of view. Yeah, and that makes this a very fast-paced read, um, makes it very action-packed, and that's something that really like helped us get through these books really quickly. And you know, we read this one a year ago, but I would say we read the last four within the last couple months. Couple months, and yeah. And we just decided to dive all the way in. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys. We decided to read. We decided to read. The um, so then again, if you are not the type of person who likes random deaths, this might not be a good book for you because really, like, you're in the middle of a conversation and someone just gets stabbed and they're gone. Just like that. Just completely. And you're just like, what just happened? Now you're going to have to do the rest of this video by yourself. Wow. Why did I mess that one up? Off. Why did I mess yeah. that one up? Good luck. Thanks. I guess you got re- uh, Reincarnated. <laughs> Reincarnated by uh, or something, yeah. Um, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so anyways, this book is based in the continent island of, of Mythica. Mythica. And there are three different kingdoms, and they're all kind of have their own issues, and there's this magical presence, like this elemental magic. Um, that no one's been able to find, but everyone's had this like myth about it and everyone wants their secret power. Right, because everybody's trying to gain control. Mostly one kingdom really is trying to take over everyone, but um, yeah, really interesting. Kind of a fantasy YA read, I guess. Yeah. Epic journey kind of thing. And I mean, if you enjoy love stories, um, the love stories don't really get intense until book three. So that's not... Yeah, you kind of have to days. hang God, in there. If you're in it for the romance. If you're in it for romance, so that's another thing. If you really like romance, then you're going to kind of... There's little tiny things of romance through books one and two, yeah. but it doesn't actually get serious until book three. And going back to the romance thing, for those of you that don't love, like, love triangles, um, this book has more of, like, a love octagon where everybody's in love with everybody else, and there's these two main people that everybody loves. And I, it's just, I'm Cleo. It's crazy. Everyone loves me. Yeah, she's one of the main characters, and everybody likes her, and it's a little ridiculous. Well, and then there's but... Jonas, and everyone likes Jonas, too, and then everyone thinks Magnus is handsome. It's like, yeah. oh my god. But it's so still, many... like, really good. And... It is good. It is good. But, I mean, I guess if you don't like that. Yeah, if you don't like that, it might not be for you. Um, in general, we don't actually like random killings. We're still really enjoying this book. We're not really into love hexagons either, but, but we're, we're still, still really enjoying, enjoying the book. book. So, I mean, I feel like every book kind of has its things that could drive you crazy. But, I mean, again, you have to kind of yeah. play the tables because this is a seven book series and five of the books are currently out. So you have to decide if this is something that you want to invest in. Yeah, it is like any series. It, like we said earlier, it is investment, and I'm mean, we really enjoyed it. So yeah, so we cannot wait. To if you've seen our other reviews and you agree with stuff we've said in the past, you'll probably like these books. I mean, <laughs> they are good. They're really well done. Sorry, guys, I'm getting over a cold. Oh. oh. So this is the book two couple. I hope that helped you decide on whether or not you're going to venture into. Oh my God, there's so many books here this particular book this is where you'd start and um so yeah and i mean if you read this book and you aren't sure um i don't know if you read this book and you like it i feel like oh. like when i finished this book my favorite part about this book 
was that at the very end, you realize how much setup there is for so many more books. You're like, wow, that was really well set up to like start a whole another adventure. It's not a cliffhanger. You could totally stop at this book, but there are so many like little things, little breadcrumbs that you just want to kind of like go farther. Yeah, definitely. And boy, um, do they go farther. Like they I would have never going. thought that it would go where it is. Oh, and this is also one of those books where like you were like, oh, I hate that character. And then they make you like them. Ooh. Oh, that's the worst. You're like, you're messing with my brain. Yeah. Anyways, um, this is the BookTube Couple. And thank you for joining us for another episode of To Read or Not To Read. Bye. Bye.